Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gregory Gage and this is my four month update on my FUE hair transplant. So if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I've been tracking the growth of my FUE hair transplant ever since I had it done. I've been taking photos every day so you can see like how, how fast and how well the hair is growing. And it's now been four months, so the growth is looking quite good. Originally they said that it takes about six months for you to like really start to see something happening, like something proper. And then it's gonna be a year until you really like reap the benefits of the hair transplant. But I'm four months in now and it's looking really good I am very pleased with how it's going it's grown a lot and it's changed a lot since I first had it done <laughs> really quick recap for anyone that doesn't know anything about what I've done so far I got it done at Vinci hair clinic in London so it was on London's Harley Street the team were really helpful and they like guided through me through the the whole process they told me everything that I needed to know for like what to expect afterwards I got like a pack with all the information about it and from my recovery it was like on point with what they were saying that it tells you about the dormant stage as well so it's between the second and the third month the dormant stage is when all of the the hair shafts that are transplanted fall out and then you're kind of left with it just looks like nothing has happened to your hair at all uh, as you can see here it looks like I had nothing done there was hardly any hair in my head and that was during the dormant stage that was a very stressful period and I didn't I was worried that the hair wasn't gonna grow back but it did thankfully so at the three month mark in my last update video I was very excited because the hair started to grow and you could see the hair starting to grow it was it was great so I was very excited about that but now that it has grown even more I'm really excited excited about it because it's looking very good like you can as I pull this up you can see there's like loads of hair growth there it's looking good just to answer some of the questions that I have been getting quite regularly in the comments of these videos. My age, I am 32 this year. I'm not yet 32, currently 31, but December is around the corner and then I will be 32. Nice and old. I did not have to shave my head. I, well, I had to shave the back of my head to get the hair taken from the back and put into the front, but I didn't have to shave the top of my head. So I've managed to keep the top of my head like relatively long. Uh, which has been great for me because I've been able to style it. I couldn't style it originally. Other questions, so people have asked about exercise and working out and things like that and playing sports. The instructions are not to exercise at all for the first 10 days after having the procedure done, but after that you are able to exercise. And other people have asked me about sports like motocross and wearing helmets and stuff. So that I would say, try and avoid wearing, wearing hats or anything that's gonna put pressure on your transplanted hair for the first minimum two weeks the redness and everything went down quite quickly after I had the, the swelling so if you don't know about the swelling here's a picture of the swelling my face was horribly huge I do currently need a haircut my hair is getting quite long so I want to get it cut and from the back you can't really tell I've had anything done because it's just there's a load of hair there I can take it quite short and like faded at the back so that you can still not tell that I've had a hair transplant done because the the scars are not that noticeable if I do go like really short if I go like a one all over the back of my head you are gonna see some scars from where the the hair has been pulled from the back of my head um, that's just a given it's going to happen but if I have it like a, a fade going up blended nicely then you're never gonna know that I've had a hair transplant done, so it's all good. If I'm completely honest, I can say that this side feels thicker than this side. Like, that, it's it's the, the hair has grown a lot thicker through on this side than it has on this side, so I'm hoping that that will obviously balance out when it grows through properly. But right now, there's still a few pimples under here where it's ingrown hair, so they haven't quite pushed through the skin yet. And I am still only four months, so there is more growth to come. But currently looking really good. I'm very, very pleased. So let's take a look back at the last month from when I last showed you my updates. Yeah, let's take a quick look.
So because I had the PRP injections last month, let's just take a really quick look at what the whole process involves. Uh, it's a three-step process where they basically just take your blood from your arm, they take a, a good sample of it, then they split that into different vials. They put it into a centrifuge. Um, the centrifuge spins it really, really fast and that separates the blood into three different densities. It's got the platelet poor plasma, platelet rich plasma, and then just red blood cells. So it splits up into those three. The plasma is this like yellowy color. Once it's come out and it's separated into those three densities, they take just the platelet rich plasma, which is the yellowy stuff. They take that into more syringes separate that up so you've just got the platelet rich plasma and that gets injected into your head and it's supposed to help stimulate hair growth it's really good because it's a fast procedure it doesn't take long at all i was in there for about half an hour not very long at all and there's very little risk of infection or problems or anything because it's literally your blood being taken out of you and then put back into you. The downside is that you have to maintain it quite a lot. You have to keep getting it done to really notice the effects. So my one session of PRP probably isn't going to do very much for my hair transplant, but it is really good for people that have thinning hair. So it helps to stimulate the growth so that the hair doesn't thin and it helps it to grow back. So if you are experiencing thinning hair and you want to give it a boost, then maybe Maybe PRP would be great for you because you can just get it done and then get it done and get it done But then it does work out to be quite expensive with the amount of sessions you would need to do for it to have a good effect So that's probably the downside of, of PRP, but I've done it now I've experienced it and it was it was interesting It kind of stung a little bit, but it didn't take long It didn't cost me anything because it was part of this whole hair transplant package and I just figured I would get it done so there we go. If you haven't checked out that video, it is on my channel right now, so you can check the link in the description down below if you want to check that out right now. It's got like the full process of, of PRP before or after images of other people, not me, and just an overall insight into what PRP is and how it helps. So a bunch of you asked me how much the procedure costs. Um, I'm not gonna tell you the exact figure, but it was less than five grand, more than three grand. That should probably help you there. And I was able to do it on finance so I could pay it off monthly, which was fine at first. To be honest, it's um, it was quite a large amount to pay back every month because I had to pay it back within less than a year. So my way around that, if you want a tip to do that, I have a credit card where I get like uh, air miles, which is great. So I paid off the full thing on that credit card, got a new credit card, which was a 0% um, balance transfer credit card. So I then transferred the balance from my air miles one to the 0% balance transfer one, which is for like 18 or 20 months or something. So I've got plenty of time to pay back the same amount of money with no interest, no no like fees or anything like that. So that's how I've managed to do it. And I'm essentially still paying off on finance, but I'm just doing it through my own credit cards and also getting air miles points from it. So that's one way to do it if you wanted to spread the cost over, over several months is just a clever use of credit cards. So yeah, that's how I've done it and it's going well. <laughs> Yeah, if you've got any questions at all, if you want to know about like financing and, and figuring out how to how to pay something off easily, then I'm always happy to to answer questions, but I'm not giving away like full on information about my finances. So but happy to help, always happy to help. So that's pretty much it for the four month update. I am exactly four months into the growth now. It is looking really good. I'm loving it so far. And from like a distance, you can kind of just see that. That's what my, my hairline is gonna look like when it's done. I'm really, really excited to see it when it's finished. If you guys have any questions at all, please do feel free to, to ask away. I'm more than happy to answer anything you ask, either in the comments down below, or if you wanna ask me privately, then you can always do that on my Instagram page. My Instagram handle is just here, and I'll answer everything I can possibly answer. If you like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up, and if you don't like this video, then I don't know why you've watched all the way to this point. Anyway, please do feel free to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my uploads. I will see you guys next month for another hair update. And if you think my hair is growing well, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love for a little bit of a, a cheer on or boost or whatever. And if you're doing this too, let me know because I, I love hearing that other guys are on the same, same sort of journey as I am. So yes, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a great day. Bye. I mean, it's looking...
looking pretty good. <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying having this. Bah!